Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Scooter Roth, and welcome back to another week episode of The Messy Studio. So The Messy Studio is where I sit back and I talk about gear-related things or software, specific things like that, whereas in The Messy Desk is where I talk about office and business-related things. So anyway, uh, so for this episode of Messy Studio, I wanted to sit back and talk to you about a trick that I learned for Adobe Lightroom uh, that's going to help you dealing with exporting. So let's go, and real quick, make sure to click subscribe. Click subscribe. See the little button that pops up? Click subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and uh, we will keep seeing you trying it every week. Uh, we, me, me. I will see you every week. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Scooter Roth, and welcome back to another episode of The Messy Studio, where I sit back and I talk about gear-related topics or software-related. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about Adobe Premiere. If you're an Adobe Premiere user, there's probably an aspect of it that you found frustrating, especially if you are a Windows user. I don't know if this applies to Mac, but I'm a Windows user guy. So uh, there would be occasion where I would go and I would finish the video how I wanted it, and I would go up to export, and there's a media line, you click on media and nothing happens. So you don't know how to export. It just stays dead. So I end up always having to close down Adobe Premiere. Uh, and sometimes when I reopen it, it doesn't have the most current settings. So I finally figured out the solution and I want to talk to you about the solution. So we're gonna go over now to the computer to show you that. All right, so here we have the main uh, Windows uh, layout for Adobe Premiere. You'll sit back and see how Depending on the section you click on, there's a thin blue line that goes around it, depending on the area you're in. Now, the problem is, is let's say you sit back and you made a recent change to this, or you're watching this video and this thing is highlighted, and you go to File, and you go to Export, nothing opens. Uh, let's see there, that one it opened. If you're on this media section, let's see if it opens there. Notice how nothing spins, right? If you're on this one, Media Browser. This one, it doesn't even come up, right? So notice how the, you don't even have the media option. It's grayed out here if you're clicked on this box because there's nothing in here telling it to export. Same thing up, up here. It doesn't know what to export. There's nothing there to export. Here, there's something to export, but it's not reading a clip or anything like that. So over here... If you're on this program window, or if you're on this active window, you will be able to export. So we've got export media, and it pops up. Whereas in if you're up here, let's see if I wanted to sit back and edit this. So now I'm up in the screen, and I'm here. I go to export media. And nothing pops up. So even though it's reading a media file, um, this is not something to export. This is not something you can export. Only this. This is this is what you would export, and this is what you would export. Uh, let's see over here, libraries, file, export, and nothing happens. So there's probably been a lot of times where I would have this effects control panel click because that's where you make some quick changes or select the file or something like that, or it have something down here and the export thing wasn't coming up. So now you could see that in order for it to export, you had to tell it what it's supposed to be exporting. And you do that by clicking on the timeline area, or you can click it up, up here on the program area of what you're playing. Uh, so anyway, that's the uh, uh, a little tidbit of uh, what, uh, what I figured out. And therefore, I don't have to sit back and shut down uh, uh, Adobe Premiere and restart it. And uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, that's a little bit about Adobe Premiere and a little uh, quick frustrating aspect that will hopefully help you um, uh, when it comes to your export problems. So anyway, uh, this is Scooter Roth, uh, an episode of Messy Studio. Make sure to click subscribe. Uh, we'll be back next week with an episode of Changing Optics, and then it's back to Messy Desk. So uh, every week I kind of rotate from Messy Desk, Messy Studio, and Changing Optics, which are the three main uh, series that I do here on YouTube. Anyway, uh, you can find me at Scooter Roth on Instagram. You can also find me at Scott Roth Events on Facebook. I'm all over the place. I got several different brands. Uh, anyway, uh, take care, and uh, hopefully you're staying safe and staying home.